EA Sports and the PGA Tour. So proud to present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From spectacular Pebble Beach, California, final round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Tell you what, we have seen some tremendous golf this week, outdone only by the incredible beauty that is the coastline of the Monterey Peninsula. And as we check the Sunday leaderboard, our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. His cushion is a full four shots as he gets set to tee off. Yeah, very controlled shot there with the iron on this short par four, and that's gonna be just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. He's looking at 121 yards to get you to the front of the green. One, three, four, the number all the way to the flag. Pin smack bang in the middle. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, yes, that's the way to start the day. It is a birdie here at the opening hole. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. Frank, interestingly, this hole number two plays as a par four for the US Open. It is a par five. It's absolutely gettable, and players must take advantage. Certainly, Rich, off that back tee, uh, really, you've got to grab a driver. I know there's bunkers left and right, but the decision is whether that tee shot finishes in the fairway, because if it does, you're going to have a crack at this par five and two. If it doesn't, then you play the layup. Well, somehow, that ball's got through the other side of the tree and really hadn't lost that much yardage. Oh, that's not going to be good. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Yes, can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. He gets it to 20 under par. This is a pretty hole, the third. 397 yards, just a gentle dog leg to the left. And you do have the option. If you're longer, maybe you just take it up over those trees and cut the dog leg, leaving yourself very short shot in. Or you can play it out to the right, have a little bit more in, but still certainly with a good chance at birdie. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut, it's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see.
Uh, it's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Bertie. was spot on that ball somehow just decided not to go down so that safely in it's a par here at the third and that's going to keep this large lead right where it is wow a day's worth of breathtaking shots frank from the players and the pacific ocean there it is and this begins that beautiful seven hole stretch along the ocean, short, par four, fourth hole. And this is also where some of these decisions become quite critical. Do you try and drive this green 330 yards to the front? Or do you worry about that little pot bunker on that left side, which is about 250 yards to get over it? Because that's what narrows this fairway down. But it plays uphill. The driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's gonna set up nicely in the fairway. Seven feet now for birdie. Yeah, that's a well played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And he moves to 21 under par. We arrive now at the 189 yard par three called the new fifth. Despite being redesigned by Jack Nicklaus late last century, safest play here is to the left center of the green. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Frank, here we are. Another good scoring opportunity. The dramatic part five six. It's easy to have that view of Stillwater Cove on the right. Uh, but that, that, needless to say, is not the, not the place to go. Those five bunkers down the left really determine your strategy off the tee. Plus, you, 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 you're playing from elevation, nearly 20 yards extra off the tee so that run out at 360 at the end of the fairway believe me that's in play the driving's been sensational all week and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway Got every bit of that through all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. 
From 28 feet away, a chance now to come away with an eagle. Mm, that would have been a good one to convert on. Instead, that'll be left for birdie. Okay, well done there. It's a birdie here at the sixth. And that means he'll get it to 22 under par. Well, this is the one you dreamed about, isn't it? Just a little baby wedge that kisses the clouds and drops softly on that tiny green here at the seventh. You and your maker, there's nothing better in the world than to be playing the seventh hole and playing it well here at Pebble Beach. This one has a chance to be close. I mean, this is a clinic in how to play the game. Just keep everything whole high. Give yourself a look for birdie, and that's what will have coming up. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. He's going to move to 23 under par. We head now to the 416-yard eighth hole, one of the premier par fours in golf. Fairway wood or long iron off the tee, giving way to a long approach over the cliffs and a yawning chasm below. And this, not the longest hole players will encounter, so just an iron off the tee, and it works out to perfection. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third. Beautiful tee shot. Great position looking at this green, and there are no easy options here. You've got bunkers up the left, bunkers on the right. You have balls that are going to find their way into the penalty area. Requires precision execution. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Frank, you might be tempted to just stare off at the Pacific Ocean. It's right there, but you'd also better have your focus on what is one of the more challenging par fours in the game. Yeah, this stretch, eight, nine, ten, demands uh, just not not just concentration, but but really great shots. Uh, the tee shot here has to be struck absolutely flush down that left side. And the reason why, if you look closely, is this fairway, just everything moves to the right. So if you sort of pitch it in the middle of the fairway or the, or the right-hand side of the fairway, it's going to go on the rough and leave you a really difficult second shot. So a great drive here is rewarded. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well, when you find your ball in the fairway at the ninth, you hit a great tee shot, one of the most difficult fairways to hit on the entire golf course. But now it opens up the opportunity to hit a great second. Oh, it's coming out of the gates today beautifully, and there's another chance. Chance now for another birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And the scorecard's looking pretty good after nine holes. That's a 29 six under par. Hope you're enjoying this little stroll along Carmel Bay, and the golf is as good as the view. This 10th hole is 444 yards. I would tell you that it is the widest fairway at Pebble Beach. It is, but 
it doesn't feel that way because of the way it slopes left to right. And if you're not careful, this one can get away from you and head toward that Pacific. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. A nine-footer now for his birdie. Oh, that is so close. Just a little bit more. So that in for par to start this backside. And pars to the clubhouse will do nicely as this remains a giant eight stroke cushion. Well, this is where Pebble Beach changes significantly. We're going away from the Pacific Ocean now, up the hill toward the forest, Frank. What do you think of the 11th hole? Well, it, it's tricky, Rich. But number one, because it's blind, as you've detailed, but uphill and it's sea level. So that tee shot's not gonna go that far. Um, there is a run out down that left side just inside the tree line there, that's about 308 yards, but you're not gonna go that far. Um, so, so really this, you have to respect this hole, just hit a fairway fine. Put it in a great spot off the tee, has just 86 yards left for his second shot. See what he can do with this. A beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons, and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike, and look how close that is. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11, and he's drawing ever closer to a fourth victory on the year. And now we arrive at the 202-yard par 3, 12. Best to work the ball right to left, landing as softly as possible on one of the firmest greens at Pebble Beach. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Now this for another birdie. A great deal of success on the greens thus far, but this one's going to be a challenge. Ah, uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And after the second place finish a week ago, he's closing in on a victory here. Here we are, Pebbles 13, 401 yard par four that some consider a bit of a breather on the course. Birdie is definitely a possibility here. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? and the driving has been simply superb.
And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Iona's down there, this for birdie. Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to it. I think you'll fancy his chances at this one. Yeah, that's good putt. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. Well judged. That is in for par here at 13. And pars will be no problem from here on out, as this will remain a full 10-shot lead. Frank, the 14th hole, par five, it is one of the most difficult par fives in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is, Rich. Not just because of the length of the hole, 570 plus yards, but um, reachable only really by the longest hitters in the right conditions. But it's the third shot. I, I've got to rank the third shot as probably the hardest short wedge shot um, right up there with the 15th hole at Augusta. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. <laughs> Safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. And he seemingly had no problem with his reads all round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. He's going to stay at 26 under par. Next up, the 393 yard par 415. Tee shot in the fairway gives the players an excellent shot at birdie, but be careful losing it right onto that 17 mile drive. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Oh, off the flagstick. Uh, that's good technique, and that is right around five feet. Not too bad. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. This is a really pretty hole to par four 16th. What's the right line here, Frank? Well, if you want to pick out something on the horizon there, if you look closely down there, the tallest tree in the distance, that's sort of right bang in the middle of the fairway. Um, you will not see your tee shot land and you won't see it run out, but that's the line. This starting toward the right side. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this lie.
That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. 17-foot putt here. Finishing strong, back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And this is turning into an absolute runaway at the top of the leaderboard. If you stop for just a moment, it can really hit you where you are and what's happened here. The 17th hole at Pebble Beach, the par three. Jack with a one iron that hit the flagstick in 1972 on his way to winning the U.S. Open Championship. And then a decade later, Tom Watson from just long of the green chipping in for a birdie two to beat Jack Nicklaus. Yeah, history made here at the 17th hole. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Yeah, very good shot, taking it in right of the hole, and a good look upcoming. Now this for another birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over, but the shout. Well, you're not just playing the 18th hole at Pebble Beach, are you? You're taking a moment to soak it all in. Stand on that tee box, look out at the Pacific Ocean, think about what's happened here, who's played this hole, who's made history here, and then you let it rip. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. The views here at the 18th at Pebble get a whole lot better when you knock it on in two just like that. Oh, that second shot's like a banana, too. It keeps turning left, and you've got to really pick a definitive line, and that was just absolutely ripped. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Yes, what a finish to the round. Four consecutive birdies to wrap things up. Frank, unquestionably a satisfying victory for our featured player. Uh, you won 15 times on tours around the world, including the PGA Tour. What's the significance of the second victory? It's a great question, uh, Rich. And I think the, to answer you simply, it's huge. But to sort of uh, detail it more, the first one, there's always question marks. People tag around, is it a fluke? Were they lucky? Did they chip in on the last? So you work just as hard, if not harder, for the second one. And then when that happens, you feel validated and you feel finally over the hump. So that's it for us, for Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew. Rich Lerner saying, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.